Hi and welcome to my first vlog for the HR director. So why a vlog instead of a blog for this particular subject? Well, I'm talking about values and culture and to me there's nothing more important than those two subjects in the business world today. It's something I'm very passionate about and if you know me even slightly, you probably know it's something I really don't shut up about. So values, let's talk about them because actually it's very exciting. Next month it's World Values Day. So if you don't know anything about it, you really, really have to go and just Google World Values Day. Um, my company changed differently and other companies like Engage for Success are really embracing it and actually doing quite a lot to create awareness of value-driven businesses. So let's start. Values. How many of you can actually just sit there, think about it? Can you actually name your organizational values? Do you know them? Do you know what they mean for you? Or is it that kind of occasion where you can actually kind of remember seeing them on a poster somewhere, they have these little fancy colors, and actually you don't really know what they are, you just know they're there somewhere. Well, I actually believe that that's what happens in many organizations. They are wall decoration. Something somebody thought of one day, thought, hmm, these sound good, but they don't actually get lived during the organizational life. They're not really part of that culture. And actually, if you were to ask a lot of people what, how to describe their company, they wouldn't come up with those words. So what is what happens? The world is changing. And no matter what generation, everybody's actually more in tune with their own personal values and how those fit the workplace. And if there's a mismatch between both of those things, engagement suffers, the organization suffers. And later you either have people who are dead on arrival, who have decided that this is a job and they need to pay their bills, or people who are really struggling within the job because they want to give their best, but there's not the environment to do so. So obviously these both scenarios is not really what we want. And what we're finding out in business is that it has such a big deal with the bottom line. People are looking for companies with integrity, for companies that say they value X or Y and actually deliver. People are looking up to their managers to see if they're living it. And they're looking even higher. Are the leaders of the organization living these values? So from a personal perspective, I worked in many places where it's either been really great or it's been really, really bad. So let me talk about the really, really bad ones. It's not that the companies were bad. It's not that I didn't love what I did. It was all to do with whether my values kind of aligned with what I saw being practiced in the organization. Because many times when I looked at the wall values, they felt right. They looked great. They aligned with mine. But what was going on in the organization was definitely not the same. So that's when I had to make kind of some of the decisions of I'm responsible for my own engagement as well. So I had to go find somewhere where I was going to be happier and where I felt it kind of unmatched. And this is the most important part, I think. As individuals and as organizations, we both have that responsibility. As a leader, if you're listening to my blog, I want you to really take that into heart. Are you engaged with your company values? Do you know them? Do you think you embrace them? Do you think the people above you embrace them? Because what is actually happening is people actually through things like Glassdoor are actually being able to create more informed decisions of where they work. There's a lot more avenues out there nowadays to create income. So organizations really need to step up. I remember back when I was studying university, so quite a while ago now, um, I had one of my best OD teachers tell me, let's say that both companies are doing well. They do the same thing, same process, same product, same service, all the same. Well, there's a recession. They might both be kind of doing the same because they're competing, but you know, one's doing better than the other. They're one's cutting costs and actually really unmotivating their employees. Um, they're just trying to do more with less. And actually every time they do that, they're not doing it in a great way. The other one's actually looking at solutions and working with their employees to create more solutions, involving them, 
living their values and actually say putting the employees first. So what happens with those two companies once things get better? What you'll see is an actual dramatically effect kind of go like this, where the company that's actually value and purpose driven will outpass the one that isn't in regards to revenue, in regards to retention, in regards to really big bottom line things. I would also recommend that if you haven't, look up Alex Edmonds. He's a great academic from LSE who talks about return and investment when it comes to employee engagement and actually involving staff and actually purpose-driven organizations, which is really what we're talking about here. Because actually creating a culture needs to be based on values. It's that what's underlying the iceberg of culture. So actually from the bottom line perspective, it's really important, but it's also important in retaining and retaining and attracting staff. So it's a short blog today, but I really, really wanted to get that out there. So again, World Values Day is coming up. Um, please look up Change Differently, www.changedifferently.com or www.worldvaluesday.com to learn more about that, that initiative. It is very, very important to get that awareness out there. Thank you for listening, and I hope to see you next month.